Good day, guys. Been here um, just recently. Sema uh, just um, sent me this image. So he modeled this uh, Guggenheim Museum. Uh, um, we talked about how to uh, model the, the all these ramps. So see all these uh, spiral uh, ramp with different um, with uh, different uh, footprint and also um, the the wall. And also those windows. So um, today I'm going to quickly uh, show you some ideas. So I have uh, if I'm going to uh, model this these. Okay, so let's do it. So first I'm going to create a project. Okay, so basically, um, so let's have a look again. So I think uh, he sent me some more image so yeah so these one so I think these are from probably some from some book and as we can see so these are the the floor and you will, you will see all the floor or the railing they are all not uh, flat and there's all like profile and then so these walls so nothing is uh, straight so if we're going to model this so I think um, it's, e it's easy to just model a flat ramp and then it will be quite hard to model all these, you know, the walls or the, this uh, s diagonal or slightly not, not straight slanted walls. Okay, so let's try. So first, um, if we are going to model this uh, using ramp, so we can still do that. So usually a ramp. So for example, you can just uh, do. Uh, so for example, you can just do half. So f um, let me just quickly just try. So from ground floor, I'm going to use ground floor only. So from ground floor, and then I'll just guess. Uh, I'll roughly set this level at ground floor with a little offset. So for for example. Uh, two meter okay and then we can just create half of the the ramp so 180 degree so it looks like uh, we don't need that much but uh, that's probably because the maximum so limitation of the the length so if you go to edit top of the ramp so here so this is the one so maximum incline length so if I if we change this one so we don't uh, we don't have a limitation so we can uh, so for this one maybe I'll just change up too much too many and this I'll change it to instead of 12 I'll make it 20 so 1 to 20 okay so we can somehow just draw I'll just roughly draw Eight and 180 degrees so what I'll type in 180 so this will be half of that ramp right so as you finish you can still you can still uh, for example edit sketch to you know increase to make it wider or so you can even um, let me think so if I move so we can pro let me so this is boundary so if I go boundary so we can probably do something like Oh hell, it's not flat. Maybe I'll rotate the whole thing. So yeah, better. And then so we can just delete part of that and create a new boundary. So something like like oops, sorry, wrong one. This one. And you can do something like this. Okay, and then of course this one looks like needs to be um in the middle but I'll just leave it for now so if I finish so you will see this is half part of the ramp so let me just delete this delete the railing so this is part of the ramp and then you can just in, uh, continue so so you can do this so mirror this up and then of course you need to just do some settings so because you will see this is a mirrored but what you want it is you need to I think uh, we need to go to floor plan and ah 
looks like we need to flip. How do we flip it? So maybe ah here. So see, and we just need to click on this one, and then if you look at go back to so if flick a direction, so we can then just move. So the one option is you can move. We can move this. Uh, looks like we can't. How about copy CC and shift? Yeah, so you can do this. Okay, so the other way is you can just manually so type in. So this, the first one, so this first one is from zero to two meter. And this one, you just need to change it to two meter to four meter, for example. Uh, oh, sorry, it's not actually two meter because this is uh, the because the length of this ramp and as well as the uh the slope so maybe we can do this so do a, a spot elevation so 1174.2 i'll just type in 1174.2 oops 4.2 so we can connect this and of course you can still so edit a sketch so for example if i want this to be uh wider so you can just uh, go let's go to ground floor again you can just get rid of this and just do another boundary line so maybe i'll do this something like this okay and trim finish and of course you can offset this one so you can make it is a, a offset this way as well if you want to too but I'll just uh, show you example of how are you going to do this. Okay, so this is the first way uh, we talk about. So use ramp. Okay, so and then let me just um, actually I'm going to just copy this. I'll use this for to uh, let's pretend these are the profile we need. So I'm going to show you the second way to model this. So we can do floor, okay, or roof. I think should be the same, but let me just use floor. So I'll use create a floor, pick line. I'll pick this uh, boundary. Oh, won't let me to tab select the whole, the all boundary. I'll just select this one. So finish. Now let's go to 3D view, and we can just select this roof. Oh, sorry, floor, and use edit or modify sub element and then you can just drag this up to match the heart of that so you will see this is it so this is a floor exactly the same as a roof but different um, category okay so and then you can do the same so create another floor so let's go to floor plan again cs and then let's pick, pick all the boundary along here finish go to 3d view again so this time edit or modi modify sub element drag this up drag this up so this way you don't as long as you know what the level needs to be you don't need to um, uh, worry about all the you know the slope the length so um, yeah, that's it. So that this is the second method, but both of these methods are very quite limited because you can only have a flat surface. So you can probably, um, yeah, I don't think you can make you know this. You can make this shape, this shape. But okay, so now let's try the third method. Okay, so the third method. Uh, I think we can do is so um, we're going to use model in place. So first, but first, I'm, I want to just draw some more detail line. I'll just pick detail line, and maybe I'll pick this one and this one, and then I'm going to just uh, move this to here. So now what I'm going to do is I'll use um, a model in place and uh, create some. Uh, model in place of that a shape of this use um, I think we're going to use a swept blend and use a profile of this so let's do it okay so go component model in place generic model and okay and okay so 
Now we need to go pick the swept blend and then pick path and pick. So we can only, I think we can only uh, maybe just pick half circle and finish. Oh, and then we need to go select profile. So first one, and because we don't have currently, we don't have a profile. We, we need to draw the profile, so edit profile. So let's try to do it in 3D view. Okay, so the first profile will be here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just draw, let me just have a look. So roughly, so I'll draw a, a shape like, like this. So I'll start from here, go down to here, 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 and here. Okay, so now I'll draw. Um, hang on, let me have a look again. So maybe I'll just place that, um, maybe place that profile roughly in the center. I think it, it would be easier. Okay, so center, so we go, okay. I try to remember that shape. So now start from here, I go down here, go up a little bit. I'm not sure about the size, I'll roughly make it size like this. Okay, so it's probably not right, but roughly, so this is the idea. So and go maybe up there, go up there, maybe a little bit there. And also just uh, roughly get the shape. So maybe uh, not flat, maybe something like this. Okay, so this is a profile. And also I want to just copy it. So in case I need to make, so control C and finish. So now let's click on this select profile too and edit profile again. So this time, let me just control V. And then that's exactly the same, but what we need is we need to mirror it. So mirror and uncheck the copy and mirror it. So this time, um, I'm not sure, maybe I need to make it slightly bigger. So I'll just move this part, move, move this part a little bit. And I think, yeah, that's good. So finish and finish. So now we have this shape and currently it's flat. So if you look at here, so because we don't, or we didn't change the level. So let me just go back. So edit swept blend, select profile to edit profile. So we just need to select all and move it up. So for example, I'll just move it up by one meter for example, and then finish it. So now if I finish this swept blend, so you will see this slope. Okay, so um, yeah, so oh, actually, yeah, because model in place, we need to have a thickness, but if, if, if you're using a model in place messing, you don't need a thickness. You can just place, you can use a line and create face, but I think uh, it's okay because generic, you can, uh, you can also use generic model, model in place and to place wall, walls on, the, on them. Okay, so now this is part of that. And then we can just copy this. So I'll just mirror MM, mirror. So mirror to the other side, let's have a look. So now we have two, so we just need to edit this one. So this time I'll edit this, edit swept blend, and I'll just edit, uh, not sure which one, maybe profile one, yep, yeah, profile one, and edit profile. So just need to, let me just increase even more. And also I want to move this up. So look, uh, it looks like the, yeah, my, my skills, uh, my skills my not right, but uh, just to uh, show you, so roughly the idea. So you will see, so become, so continue with this one. So it's probably not perfect, very perfect, but uh, should be close enough. Okay, so now that's it. So you will see, increase the width, okay. And then that's it. So once you finish this model in place, and then you can always place wall on them. So for example, I'll just draw a wall and you can use, uh, maybe I'll just use a 100, oops, 200 wall. Okay, it's 200 generic wall. You can always pick face of a generic model. So so you can, 
you can so for example you can place a wall here wall here so you can even place a wall as a floor see you can place another wall here as well okay so and also if you want to so for example here you want to place some windows so you can um, I'm not quite sure about the curtain wall. Let's try see if we can place some curtain wall by face. Okay, so uh, uh, where's my wall? Uh, wall by face. Select curtain wall. Pick this. No, doesn't work. Doesn't work. But that's okay. Don't give up. So you can still try a curtain system. Okay, so and pick this face and let's try so this one i think we need to add some uh mullions. okay so by default this one doesn't have any mullions, so you just need to add these and maybe set some um, grids so currently let's fix yeah that's that should be fine just should, should be good okay and create system so now so you will see it create all these so you can use this as a like a windows okay so yeah i think that's that's it so um it's i think it, it would be easier to you know model a floor or a ramp and then try to add uh, these geometries onto them so you can just simply model the whole thing as one uh general model and then and you can you have the option to either just use the general model or place walls floors or not floor sorry you can't place a floor on, on general general model you can't uh, place floor by face floor by face is a different uh, different thing so and also windows use a system uh, use curtain system okay so that's it so these are some ideas about um, some modeling if you need to model this but of course if you find if you have a better idea please let me know so we can share to you know everyone here okay thank you i'll see you next time thank you bye